Hello my loves, welcome to the vlog. Um, in this vlog you will see just kind of a Sunday routine um, that I have shared with y'all. Um, I did a little bit of shopping, I made a crock pot meal and told you a little bit about some chicken that I was going to meal prep. Today is Tuesday and I am prepping that chicken now. I did not have time on Sunday after the crock pot meal or yesterday <clears throat> been super busy the past two days so um i am going to show you the prep the meal prep chicken today um for the end of this video but i just wanted to say hi pop on intro you all to the video and i hope that y'all enjoy leave me a like and a thumbs up it will really help me out um, enjoy the video. I am ready and have you guys set up. Okay, so I have a crock pot out. Um, crock pot out and a clean kind of needs to be wiped out kind of okay i think we're good um and a clean little skillet the reason i have this is i'm going to brown the meat before um where i feel like I have no idea where like anything is and I need my scissors. <sighs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to brown the meat um, before I put the meat in the in the crock pot. So I'm going to brown this first. Well, I cut up the potatoes a little bit more and yeah, so this is gonna get everywhere so this is what I'm gonna do. Brown the outside of this and then while that's going, I'm going to cut up the potatoes just a little bit more because they're just big and I think there's only a few potatoes. So, and then, okay, so that's browning. I'm going to put the onion just in there. And I'm going to cut these potatoes up. I think that it is good, so I'm going to take it off and put it in the crock pot. That's going to just chill out for a second. Okay, so the beef roast, um, even this side is kind of a little bit too done, but that's fine. It won't hurt anything. Um, sorry, I'm so unorganized right now. Um, but just like 
this brownness right here just would be good. It's not on the sides, but that's fine. It's all right. So I'm going to then dump the carrots in there and then get the potatoes. I'm going to have to hold you up. Sorry, y'all. Hopefully I can get you where you can maybe see it a little bit. I'll just show you. And then I'm just going to put the potatoes in, put them everywhere. And then the seasoning, the directions on this, you'll have to obviously read it. But on the directions on the back, it says um, the seasoning with one cup of water. So I get my one cup of water. So I get my one cup of water, I take the seasoning and just put it right in there and make sure that the seasoning is stirred up before I put it in the crock pot. So just make sure there's no clumps. and. It's all dissolved in the water. You could even use like one cup of vegetable oil or vegetable, not oil, vegetable broth. Um, and that would be good too. So then I just take the mixture and I just make sure to coat it all around and this is when you put the top on and you latch sorry um it's not latched okay latch it Okay, so I just cleaned off it so it could sit right here. So we're going to put, oh, why is this? It's because we just cleaned, but I'm gonna press power, um, high, four, four, and let it cook. So it is 2.30 right now, so 3.30, About six, about 6.30, it should be done. I'm gonna come back, stir it a few minutes later. Um, okay, so that's done. I'm gonna come back, do the dishes, but I do wanna show y'all everything that I got. So, okay, I feel like I have so much to do. I need to switch the laundry, put more in after I'm done with this little tiny little haul that I'm gonna show y'all. Okay, so I went to Marshall's for fall stuff really but honestly I work in the schools now so I need more pants because the other pant a few pants that I ordered are way too big for me um and so it's a hit or miss at Marshall's usually to find like um business pants and they had some so like I couldn't pass it up because they were probably not gonna have them ever again um, so I got these, um, they're just plaid, black and white, kind of straight leg boot cut kind of, um, and with a bow in the front, super cute. I can wear this to obviously the schools, but I also could wear this during the fall to carnivals. Um, you know, I have bridal shower coming up, which an engagement party coming up there I want to look a little bit nicer so those would be great for that along with the same vibe I found these which were the first ones that I found 
um, and they're just not as big and like the same print but like different if you can tell and they have the cinched pretty waist and the bottom is cuffed and cute so I really think I'm gonna wear these tomorrow because I feel like I repeat my outfits at school because I don't have a lot um, so yes I got those to go along with those because one of the pants that I have um, I can't wear because I literally don't have a shirt to wear them with so I got two basic tops that I can do with I can wear with these I can wear with a whole bunch of other things um, I literally don't have a basic black and white shirt I have black and white tank tops but sometimes I don't have something to wear over it that matches the pants um, so yeah I got this simple black and like black ribbed shirt and it's just I can wear it you know in the schools with nothing over it obviously when it's hot I would wear like the tank top because I didn't have anything else and then I would get to the clinic and I'd be burning up when I had to go outside with kids um, as well as like running around sometimes so I just like wasn't I like needed these literally not want but needed I also got a basic white one a white shirt um, I've needed a basic white one which white gets dirty a lot but hopefully I got some Purex I can just wash it with I have stain remover hopefully we can just keep it white if not this was six dollars so we can go you know get more I think I need like a few white shirts you know um but I just honestly I'm the I'm probably the only person in the whole wide world that doesn't have a basic white and black t-shirt last two things for Marshalls is are these like green army pants um with pockets laid back again cinched at the bottom again I can wear these um to work and I can wear these outside of work so they all these things will have like a lot of use last thing I got from um Marshall's was these mitt like oven mitts I have some of these obviously they're not fall themed and they uh have like pizza right here so I was like let's just get the these they're six dollars the other ones were six dollars as well they have so many of these all the time um themed for every holiday so I thought that I would get a fall themed one um and then I would get like a Christmas themed when it's Christmas time and then I didn't want to spend a fortune at um Home goods and Marshalls and get a whole bunch of decorations also they didn't have like a lot to choose from they had like more than what they did last time um but yeah so I just went to Dollar General um the one right by our apartment and got a few things so I got this little tin can that says hello fall so cute I love like the um tribal print right there and it's just white and cute and simple my idea for that was I was going to put these um, pumpkin spice scented uh, witches brooms in there. If they stand up, then I might have to put something like in the bottom for them to stand up. But yeah, they're so cute and they smell good. So I thought like that would be a cute. That was kind of my idea. Um, I just got this little pumpkin jar. Um, thought candy corn like candies or nothing in it you know just cute I got this one dollar little mini scarecrow dude he's cute thought I could put him somewhere um let's see and I also got this uh like red truck and pumpkin salt and pepper shaker I thought this would look so cute and it's simple and not like a lot 
um, on the stove top. I like something right in the middle of the stove top always. It's just like something that I just like. I like a candle there or something. So I got these to do that. And I also did get this for Marshalls. I forgot this little mini cropped um, jean jacket. I don't have a jean jacket. So yeah. I really thought at Hobby Lobby, and I might have gotten it, and it might be, like, in the closet somewhere, but I really thought that I got this, like, big black checkered um, thing to, like, lay on the back side of, or, like, you know, to layer the mats, but I guess I didn't, and if I did, I'm going to look, but I swear I did, but I got this to this little just mat that says, um, happy fall. And again, it has like the red truck. I really like like the red trucks with the pumpkins in the back. Super cute. Um, so yeah, that is everything that I got. I'm going to switch the laundry over and go to the bathroom. And then I'm gonna start cleaning. And after the cleaning is done, I will start decorating. I wanna make sure that the whole apartment is clean before I even think about um, decorating. I really thought that I bought that thing, but I guess I didn't. That's a bummer. Um, so yeah, I'll come back when I'm done doing what I need to do and I will film some of it. Okay, so this has about 20 more minutes. This is what looking like it's going to tear and shred um but i want to show you guys how to do this so i added whoop, steam hang on i added two cups of chicken broth this is from aldi but you guys can do any kind of chicken broth and then just salt and pepper and that leaves it to be simple enough where you guys can use the chicken for a whole bunch of stuff in the shred chicken. Uh -huh. If you want different seasoning, then cool. But uh -huh. I just do simple so we can use it for wraps, uh -huh. for salads, and all kinds of stuff. Tacos. What are you doing? Okay, so while I'm outside, I'm just kind of like sitting out with Ace. I wanted to show you what I decided to do with this rug. So I decided to bring it out here. I'm going to like level up just a little bit. Um, I think, or my plan is to full on do like a thing with this porch. So maybe put like some pumpkins or hay bales there, or there in the corner. I wanted to do some, add some lights since we have like an outside thing and like add some lights to this or the frame or whatever, something. I want to do lights out here for fall, Halloween, and Christmas. Um, so I might wait for the lights for Halloween. I think I'm going to do more um decorations out here and go all out during halloween um but i think for fall i might add some hay bales or pumpkins or something like that so i just wanted to show you that isn't it so cute wearing my slippers out here but it's super super cute i really like this adds touch um but yeah i will continue to show you my porch i'm gonna do my porch a little later on than what i'm gonna do the inside with or what like I'm decorating the inside now, but I'm going to wait to do the porch full on closer. And I also added, or what I decided, okay, focus. Um, I also decided to do this for the little place underneath the TV. I think I'm going to add some twinkle lights to the light garland, but I added the pumpkin, have the salt lamp in this, um, but I think I'm going to do twinkle lights on these. We'll try again. So that is what it ended up. wanted to show y'all what the chicken looks like so it shredded up all good and then you want to just put it in a container refrigerate it and then you can use it during 
the week. Hello, my lovely people. I'm here to end this lovely video. Um, I showed y'all the, um, my hair is like not, not a vibe. I have not taken a bath tonight. It's seven o'clock. I got dinner done pretty early. I'm super proud of myself and out and we've already ate and it's seven o'clock so I can literally just relax and do what I need to do before we go to bed. Um, but I wanted to end this video right here. Um, this was just a little few days in my life um, and I shared some you know, meals with you. I'm super excited for this fall time because I want to share my chili with y'all. I want to share like baking with y'all. Um, I've been into like more baking and cooking more often. I went through this like rut where I literally did not cook for so long, like weeks at a time. So like we would literally just have unhealthy, not cooked dinners. Um, frozen meals every night because I was just so lazy and like so exhausted and like just like unmotivated but I got into this routine of um which I'm kind of slacking this week but I'm still cooking this week so it's all good but I've been getting, getting in this routine where I um plan the week on Sundays and I try to meal prep most of the things that I got from the grocery store on Sundays and get it ready for the week. And then I also write on our weekly little planner that we put on our refrigerator. Well, sorry, um, the meals that we're gonna do every night and um, everything else. So I just wanted to end this video here and I am so glad that you guys came and hung out with me and I'll see you in the next one.